Here's a story. New at noon, a Grinch swipes a four-year-old Orange County boy's favorite Christmas memento. Yeah, sad story here. And as Mark Lehman reports, the thief stole more than just a favorite decoration. The family that lives here says the thief left nearly all of their holiday decorations intact, but the one he did take was a favorite of their four-year-old son. Now they're hoping security cameras posted outside of the home will help get results in tracking down a Christmas crook. It made me nervous for my family security as well that someone was that brazen that came that close to the front of our house. Eric Murphy is talking about this surveillance video taken in front of his home. It shows a security light come on as a man approaches. On phase, he crouches down and unplugs a light up decoration. And then, once in hand, the man runs away back into the dark. Couldn't imagine why you'd want to take another child's Christmas decoration. The heist was a two foot tall light up Elmo decoration. It's similar to this one commonly advertised online. Murphy says his four year old son picked it out two years ago and looks forward to seeing it every Christmas. And so every year he's super excited to see it, and we always try to place it somewhere fun for him. In fact, Murphy says it was his son who first noticed his light up friend missing from their front yard. Since then, he shared the video through social media, but unless the decoration is returned, Murphy says he struggles with how to explain something like this to his little boy. And having to try to explain to him that someone would have taken something of his, it's a, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad, pretty bad. The Murphy family says the sad reality for them now is that they're taking extra security measures to make sure the rest of these decorations don't end up in the hands of a thief. They say since spreading the video on Facebook, they now have a lot of other people here in the community keeping an extra eye out for their missing decoration. For now, reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman, News 6.